Should a new player start with the old world? Let's find out. Hey everyone, David the War Boss from Dad Hammer back for another video. With Warhammer the Old World set to release in the coming weeks, we're tackling a question that many of us have had at the very beginning when considering what Warhammer game to start with. Imagine yourself walking into a Warhammer store for the very first time. You see shelves lined with miniatures, paints, books, accessories, all for a multitude of games. It's daunting to say the least. You pick up a box of miniatures, turn it over, and you see the price, and then you realize that you're going to need to do some research before making a purchase, or two, or seven. Walking around in the store, you see a ton of Warhammer games, and now you've got a new one to consider in Warhammer The Old World. Maybe you like the aesthetics of the miniatures involved, perhaps the classic lore is something of interest to you. Whatever the reason, you're considering jumping into Warhammer, and you're wondering whether or not the old world is right for you. Now, if you're brand new to Warhammer, it's important to know that Games Workshop makes a lot of games that vary in scale and complexity. Those games will primarily take place in one of two settings, classic fantasy or sci-fi. Warhammer 40,000 and Age of Sigmar are the headliner games that garner the most attention. Both games involve large-scale battles with lots of miniatures focused on unit formations and tactics. Additionally, both Warhammer 40,000 and Age of Sigmar have offshoot games that are smaller in scale and focus on fewer miniatures and faster skirmish-style gameplay. So for a new player, there's already a lot of options to consider when trying to decide which game to jump into first. And now Games Workshop is releasing yet another option called Warhammer The Old World. It's based on a previously retired game called Warhammer Fantasy, which more closely aligns with Age of Sigmar, just the older. Anyway, there are several differences between the Old World and the modern Age of Sigmar game. First is setting. Warhammer The Old World is set in the Warhammer Fantasy universe, which was discontinued by Games Workshop and replaced by Age of Sigmar. Old World represents a return to the classic Warhammer fantasy setting. Second is classic fantasy themes. The Old World retains the classic high fantasy elements with a focus on medieval warfare, diverse races, and a world filled with magic, monsters, and political intrigue. From a lore perspective, the game explores the rich history and lore of the Old World, which has a deep and established backstory from previous editions of the Warhammer Fantasy Battles game. The Old World will still involve large-scale battles similar to Warhammer Fantasy, with a focus on regiments, formations, and traditional fantasy warfare. Gameplay for the Old World will involve a more complex rule system as compared to 40k or Age of Sigmar, and they'll also use larger armies using more miniatures and regiment-based warfare, where units are organized into blocks or formations, which play a crucial role in strategic maneuvering. Those are just some of the differences, of course, and not all of them, but Warhammer the Old World is a classic fantasy game. That's not a bad thing, it's just a different thing. So does classic mean it's right for you? This is all personal preference, of course, so this is just my opinion, but if someone were to come to me and ask me as a brand new Warhammer player that's never touched a war game or even a Warhammer game specifically, if they should start with the Old World as their first game of choice, I would say no. Now hear me out, that doesn't mean that the Old World is a bad game, or that it's a bad choice for you to make, especially if you like the look of the miniatures. By all means, go for it. Being an older guy myself, I had fond nostalgia for a lot of classic games, video games, board games, etc. So that does not necessarily mean that the Old World is a bad choice to make at all. For those that grew up playing Warhammer and long for the days of Old World, this game's gonna be right up your alley. For the rest of you still wanting to get into Warhammer, I would steer you more towards 40k or Age of Sigmar as they offer more modern, streamlined gameplay experiences. That said, one size does not fit all, and in my opinion, the old world is best suited for those that have played Warhammer in their <laughs> youth and want to revisit the earlier gaming days. Whichever game you choose, I hope this video has provided some helpful information in your decision-making process. Are you going to be picking up Warhammer the Old World, or are you going to be sticking with one of the more modern games? Let us know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content from Dad Hammer, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I'm David the War Boss, and we'll see you next time.